Hey all here at OS Reviews, today we're taking a quick hands-on look at the Powers of Two binary clock. This is an LED clock that can be read using binary code. Uh, binary, which composes of ones and zeros, is the universal language of all computers, and this could be an interesting gift idea for technology enthusiasts and also engineers. So here's the packaging, it's pretty simple. It's currently selling on Amazon for about $30. It's been around for a few years now, but it is very interesting and I wanted to take a quick look at it uh, to those that might be unfamiliar familiar with this a binary clock concept. Now it says tell time in high tech style, it's not just a light show, it's a clock. How we read it is every single row basically increases by binary. So the first row here represents a 1, this row here represents a 2, this one 4, this one 8, so by powers of 2, and then you would add the values of the columns together. So for example, if on a certain column we have three LEDs lit, you would simply add the first row, which represents 1, the second, which represents 2, the third, which represents 4 together, which means 7. So the first two columns represent the time in hours, which is 10. And the next two are for minutes. So right here we have one LED here on the 4, which means it's going to be 40. And then the next column over has one LED on the very top, which represents the 8. And so we have 48 for the minutes. And in terms of seconds, we can also see has uh, the first two rows lit, 1 plus 2, which means 3, so 30. And then the next two, which are lit, 4 plus 2, which means 6, so it's a 36 seconds. So it's 10, 48 and 36 seconds. Inside here we have an instruction manual that tells us in more details how to read it and how to change the various settings. Now aside from showing the time, that's uh, basically all it does. What that means is you can't use it as, say, an alarm clock. It's really all about that binary display showing you that representation of time, this matrix of LEDs. Now otherwise, there's also a second mode that's called the true binary mode that you can switch to if you are tired of that classic way of looking at the time. There's also a second way of figuring it out. You would now add the values of each row together uh, instead of saying by each column. So right now we have, again, 10, 48, uh, 36 seconds, so it's a uh, 10 o'clock right now because we have the 8 and the 2 LEDs lit by this first row, uh, which is representing, again, hours. Second row here representing minutes, so 32 plus 16 equals 48 for the minutes. And then for seconds, we have 32 plus 4, which equals 36 seconds. And then now the columns will increase by binary, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32, as opposed to before the rows, which were 1, 2, 4, and 8. Taking a closer look at the clock, it does have a pretty modern, kind of artistic look. It's slightly curved, as you can see there. Looks like metal, but it is indeed just made out of plastic. Not the biggest deal, considering the price is still quite affordable, and overall still looks quite modern and clean, even though it was released a few years back. Otherwise, there are no kind of brandings or kind of any markings of any kind. So again, once you know how to read it, it's pretty simple, but for people that are passing by, it seems like a mystery. This clock can't be powered using batteries, by the way, so it does need to be plugged in using the AC adapter always in order to turn it on and to use it. So here is simply the AC power port on the very bottom here. We have some soft touch rubber feet that allows it to sit more comfortably onto a desk surface. And on the back here, we have two keys to change the hours and the minutes. So here's the initial animation when we first uh, just uh, plug it into power. It's just trying to tell us to uh, kind of we need to set up the time, and that's just going to keep on flashing and strobing back and forth. Uh, the LEDs, by the way, are very bright, so you can definitely read it even when there's some light on in the background. But when the lights are off, it becomes kind of the most dramatic. And the setup is relatively quick and simple. Just tap on the H and the M, the hours and the minutes key repeatedly, and that will change the pixels or the LEDs around until you want to save it at the state uh, that it's in. So right now, for example, the time here is going to be 10.34 p.m. So as you can see here right now, the first, again, two columns representing hours. The first one here representing one. So one, zero is 10. The next two representing minutes. One plus two equals three. And then one, two, four. So right now it's 34. So it's 10.34. The same time that we have on our clock over there. So indeed it's uh, again matched and synced very well. And then of course just the seconds which will be constantly moving around. Uh, if you do want to change any of the time by the way, you just need to press on the hours for example and it will just keep on kind of shuffling the pixels around one at a time, just moving up by increments of the um, again hours one at a time just represented in binary form. Because the clock doesn't have any battery at all inside, if you lose power for more than 30 seconds, it does reset itself and require you to enter the time again, which is another slight con, I'd say, uh, because it doesn't have a memory feature. You can learn more details in the links down below, but for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the binary 
powers of two LED clock.